Welcome to Highline College Business 218 class, Spreadsheet Construction, but it really should be called Fun and Gaining Power with Excel. Hey, my name is Michael Gervin, and you are enrolled in Business 218. Now, this is not Canvas. This is our People website, and almost all of you have had the prerequisite class Business 216, so you know all about this website. This is where most of the action in the class is going to happen. This has the syllabus, the introductory video, the YouTube videos, Excel files that go along when you watch the video, PDF notes, which is a complete summary of everything in the video, and the test download after you're done studying. Now, of course, you don't have to buy a textbook. You don't have to buy one of those expensive website access codes. I create everything for you. Now, before we look at a couple things in the syllabus, let's jump over to our second website, Canvas. Now, the only things that are at Canvas is, and in fact, the most important thing is right here, home. I put everything in home. Now, all the videos and fun is at our people website. But when you want to take a quiz or when you're done with that test, you come and upload it here. Notice the first thing at the top of the Canvas website sends you back over to people. But there's video one, quiz and test upload link. Now when you finish studying a video and download the test and complete it, you upload it here. Also when you're done studying a particular video, then come and take the quiz. All right, so here are all of the different video quizzes and tests. Announcements, well, I'll make some announcements every week, multiple announcements. Also discussions. Right at the top, there's a single discussion post. I made this. You do not ever have to post here. But if you have questions about Excel, you can post here. And as it says right here, don't ask a question about Excel unless you also attach the workbook where the problem is. Now, this isn't the only place. In fact, this isn't the best place to ask me questions. You can at any time email me, phone me, and stop by my office. This is also over in the syllabus. I am here on campus a lot filming videos, so just email me, phone me, or stop by, it's better to phone or email first and make an appointment, and tell me what day and time is convenient for you, and I will meet with you and help you. Now grades, the most important thing about Canvas grades, and this has been true since the beginning of Canvas, the percentage grades are not correct. And the reason why? is because the percentage total that says 95% because you've done really good on the six assignments, that 95% only reflects completed assignments. So if it's the end of the class and you have a 95% for six assignments and there's 10 assignments, that is completely wrong. So don't look at percentages, but look at the scores. The scores are the only thing that's correct inside Canvas. Now let's go back to our People website. Let's go over to our syllabus. There's a table of contents at the top. You can click on any part, for example, the schedule, and it jumps right to the schedule. Now here's our schedule. And for week one, this is all you have to do. Study the syllabus, watch this introductory video, and obtain access to a PC computer with Microsoft 365 Excel. Now, all of you have taken Business 216, so you know out in the working world, they don't use Macs, they don't use Chromebooks, they use PC computers. So the business department, me, Mary Kajoka, Kathy Cartwright, we all teach you Excel on a PC because that's what the working world demands. Also, that was listed in the class schedule when you signed up for the class. So you spend the first week getting the computer. And then on Monday, January 13th, you're ready to go. Now, here's how the schedule works. Here's the topic. Here's the video. This is when to take the quiz, download the file for the test below the video. It reminds you. And then there's the due date. 
Here's week three, same thing, but starting in week three, every Monday I'm going to have an open lab on campus between 12.15 and 2.15 p.m. Now this is perfect because all the assignments are due midnight on Monday. So if you have any questions about anything, including the test or quiz, just come in and see me. Also, you can send me an email and meet throughout the week. Now I'm going to control home. Scroll down. Here's my information. I do have office hours besides that open lab, 11 to 1.30, Tuesday and Thursday, in my office or the lab across the hall. And again, you can send me an email and set up other times. The only other thing we want to look at is, of course, you have to have Microsoft 365 Excel on a PC. If you want to check out a computer, Usually Highline doesn't have enough computers. You can click there. If you have your own computer and you want a free version of Office 365 with Excel, click that link and Highline gives all of us, you guys, instructors, all free versions. Also a keyboard. If you can have a full keyboard, in the business world, this is much better. You have the number pad to enter your numbers. You have the F keys, which make things much faster. If you have a laptop, and of course I have one too, you got to be careful because the number pad's not there. That makes it much more difficult to enter numbers. And the F keys across the top, well, you're going to either have to use the FN or the FX key. That means hold that down and then click the F key to get to it. So if you can get this kind of keyboard, by the way, for my laptop, I have a keyboard like this and plug it in because it works much better. The only other thing I want to look at is grading. There will be several tests and several quizzes. Not sure how many yet, probably eight and eight. And here's how I'll calculate your grade. If these are the scores for tests and these are the scores for quizzes, and these are your scores. How do we calculate a grade? Add up total possible. Add up your scores. Do that division. There's a decimal, which can be formatted as a percent. Then we look through the table. And sure enough, there it is, 89. Your grade is 3.5. Now I'm going to click the Back button. Always download the file before watching the video. Now I'm going to click on this video and show you one important thing about every video that I post for every class here at Highline. This is video number one. Well, here's the video. And you know how to move forward and backwards and all that kind of stuff. But don't forget, below every video, it says more. Sometimes it says show more. Click it. And always, I have the files here and at our People website. But there's a time hyperlink table of contents. So if you're in the middle of a test, and you can't remember how to use the round function, come here, click, and it jumps right there. Also, even more important, later when you're out there in the working world, all these videos are always here. So you're looking for a particular topic, X lookup function, that's the hot new lookup function, click, and it jumps right there. All right, remember, all of you took Business 216, and in that class, you had a series of videos called Excel Basics. So don't be fooled. I called all of these Excel basics because we are going to start at zero, but we're going to gain momentum and learn much more intermediate and advanced stuff in this Business 218 class. So get ready for a fun and empowering quarter of Microsoft 365 Excel awesomeness. All right, we'll see you next first video. Oh, <laughs>